Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. The box I have in front of me today just arrived and inside it contains two engines from a, a, a return customer of mine. One engine is one that I'm going to repair and get running for him. The other engine is payment for this repair. At least that's how I'm taking it. So for those that are curious I do accept engines in the form of payment for my services. Now I have to preface this real quickly but with the fact that I'm really not feeling very well right now. I'm kind of under the weather today but I'm extremely curious about the contents of this box and I really didn't want to wait another day so I figured I'd go ahead and do it. So if I sound kind of mopey that's why. So there are two engines in here. One of them my understanding is another YS120 four-stroke. Now, every time somebody asks me to work on or service a YS engine, I kind of cringe because, quite honestly, I really don't enjoy working on YS engines. Um, I'm a simple guy. I like things simple and easy. Uh, YS engines are just a little bit more complex in servicing and operating. I'm not an expert in either. Therefore, I don't necessarily feel very comfortable working on other people's YS engines. So, in all reality, this is probably the last YS engine I accept to work on because I just don't want to do them anymore. So, as expected, here's the YS engine. Let's just move this box aside right now it out of frame. Let's take a quick look at this, this engine and see what is going to be required. Now this engine came to me, I was told it has a bent push rod. The owner had, uh, was going to service it himself, came across the bent push rod and was like, oh crap, I don't think I want to mess with this anymore. So he sent it to me. So we've got our exhaust here. And it looks like some pushrod tubes. It looks like maybe this engine is partially disassembled. Here's some brand new pushrods. A new silicon diaphragm for the regulator. A plunger spring. Looks like the entire contents to rebuild the fuel regulator. Let's take a look at this engine. Okay, so, wow, I'm really zoomed out because that box was so big. I have to zoom in here and get a closer look at this engine. So, as expected, you know, the pushrod tubes are off, pushrods are off. It feels like it's got really nice compression. This really looks like a really fine engine. What I may end up doing, I think the plan of action with this engine, sorry, I think the plan of action with this engine is going to be to uh, maybe just take the head off, just take it down enough just so I can put those new push rods and tubes in and then take it out and run it and see if it gives me any kind of issues running it, setting it or anything and then maybe uh, after that, I'll go and replace the regulator, fuel regulator components. Um, right now, this engine looks like it's in pretty fine shape. So, that's part one of this video. Let me. Oh, that piece of bubble wrap came down here. Let me wrap this engine up real quick and show you part two of this video real quick before it gets too long. Parts back in here. So part two of this video is the payment for this engine service and it comes in the form of this. <coughs> this is an Inya 60X engine. Now I recently published a video where I uh, just bought an HB 61 engine and in that video I mentioned 
you know I really didn't have too many 60 size engines so Ray had seen that video and that's when he contacted me about working on his his YS120 he's like you know what I've got one of these engines let me just send it to you so you can uh, you know play with it mess with it do your 60 size comparison so that's what this engine is very nice engine um, those with a an adept eye will notice it has an OS carb on, or an OS muffler on it so this isn't the stock muffler that comes with an Enya 60X this is a OS 744 carb which probably goes on their 60 size FSR engine is what it looks like um, this engine looks like it's in pretty darn good shape now it's got a different carb on it that I've ever used before. Let me zoom in on this. I've never used an Inya carb like this. I see some kind of graduations on the top here and it looks like there's a maybe a mid-range adjustment or something. I'm gonna have to do a little research on this carb to understand its operating features. But it is also an air bleed carb. So I know it's got an air bleed and I'm not really sure what these graduations and if that's just a mid-range adjustment or what that is but so this engine will be the subject of some other videos as well also I don't think that I'll tear it down because ugh, that's got a really fine compression um, the one thing I do want to do is I want to take that exhaust off real quick so we can kind of take a look at the uh, look at the piston. I've got a special cut down Allen key or wrench for trying to get at these FSR style, break them loose. Okay, so let me zoom in here. And we'll look at this. Wow, that is a bit of a shock to me. I really expected... I'm going to stick my head in here real quick, so... I expected to see a Dykes ring on this engine. But I am not seeing a ring on this engine. I not sure if in you made ABC engines I believe they made AAC engines and forgive me for not doing any research on this and getting you some better information on this prior to making this video but the side of the piston does not look like it has a whole lot of runtime on it so with that said Let's take a look at the top of the piston just from the glow plug, glow plug point of view. Let's see if we can learn any more about theoretical runtime. Okay, so the top of that piston looks, from what we're seeing here, it looks very clean. So, you know, this is what's really cool and awesome about my viewers and subscribers is they do things like this for me in that you know they send me engines oftentimes they send them to me for free and if you recall the same fellow Ray was the one that sent me eight engines for free one of which I serviced and sent back to him <clears throat> so that's why I'm saying I'm accepting this engine as payment because this engine looks like a really low runtime engine it's a very very nice engine the only thing I see about it right now is it has one little chipped head fin here but psh, so what this thing's beautiful so anyway expect to see this thing running head to head against this engine in the near future
as always, thank you for watching.